Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to show you how to do use one single eyeshadow all over the entire eye using an eye sketching technique, which is what I would do on anybody's eye just to map it out and make life um, a bit simpler. I picked up the wrong bloody box there. Let's use purple. I haven't used purple in a while. Um, okay, let's have a look. Yeah, we'll use this palette here. So this is a Tom Ford palette, which we're gonna use because it's the first one I picked up. Now, with the kind of technique that we're talking about here, what you're doing is you're just drawing out the eye in its entirety. And with this technique, you go underneath the eye and around, but you go all the way around to the inner corner. And that's kind of important because you want this to be a more structured look. So we're gonna start by applying a light eyeshadow and we're just gonna apply this um, to the eyelid itself. And as things move on, what's gonna happen is you are going to um, probably reapply the light eyeshadow because it just gets blended you know, into the rest of the face. I've now just lost my brush. No fun to be around. Okay, let's make a start. So you wanna start on the lower lash line as always, and it's easier to trace than it is to draw. So we're gonna trace our lash line because that's what we've got. So we're gonna start here. And so I'm always gonna go darker than perhaps you would. But the reason being is because I just want you to see the placement. So we've got underneath the eye, and then just past your own natural eye line, which is right here. Now you're just gonna go join it and wrap it around, but when you open your eye, you should barely be able to see it. It's really in the socket of the eye, and then go right the way in to this inner corner. So you're almost touching that tear duct. So it's this complete, tracing of the color. So this is mapped out my eye. So it goes underneath the eye. Don't worry if it's rounded at the moment, we're gonna pull it out slightly, but it then goes right here and then it turns and comes right back in to that inner corner. Now we're gonna just soften it by blending it. So you wanna just take a blending brush or a crease brush and now very lightly just start to go over that. Now, I always place two hands here because I'm old and my skin moves more than somebody who's in their 20s. So that's why I do that. It just stabilizes things for me. And you just want to soften this line. So you're blending it. And that's why we stuck to really close to the own eye in the crease. Because if we already draw that line up here, by the time we blend, it's right the way up to the eyebrow. So there we go. Now this is the bit right here at the outside corner. We can now decide whether we want to keep it more rounded or whether we just want to just slightly bring it out, which is what we tend to do most of the time. Now, the only time you wouldn't bring the eye out, and this is, and it's entirely up to you, but if you have a very, very round eye, a really round, a true round eye, particularly if it's a large eye as well, bringing it out just looks so dramatic no matter what color you use. So it's always better to stick with your own eye shape. So this is based on my own eye shape. So my eye isn't particularly round, so you can see I've not gone round, I've more pulled it out. So now you've kind of got the shape. Now what we wanna do is just darken the outside corner just a tiny bit more. So again, starting right here, and I'm just drawing it in where I want it. So right here, that's the outside corner. And then again, a touch underneath the lash line and joining it. And then I'll get my blending brush and I'll soften it. And you see, as I'm softening it, I'm bringing it onto that light eyeshadow color. So there's this graduation from light all the way to dark. And you can see that I'm stopping here. I'm not 
bringing it in anymore. And again, just soften underneath. So now you get a choice of whether or not you want to deepen the lash line area. So we've got kind of two options here, right? So I'm just gonna re-highlight this part of the eye. And let me just blend it slightly here. So you've got two options. You could leave it so it's all dark on the outside, or you could go in and just very lightly from this outside corner, just sort of lightly brush it across the top of the lash line. And that just tends to add a bit more balance um, to the eye. So let's find, let's find a celestial shade somewhere. I'm sure I've got one, I'm sure I do. That's certainly not one, is it, you silly boy? That's not one either, oh for God's sake. So yeah, we'll use, we'll use more of a purple one. And I'm just gonna now pop this just here. And I'm just gonna kind of work it into the eyelid a little bit, just to give it more of a, a sort of a purpley feel to this look. It just adds a little bit more, just adds something. So because I've done that, I actually now want to lighten it slightly. So I'm going in with that original color and just lightly kind of just pressing it onto the eyelid. So I'm actually going to use a concealer because it's just, I need this area just a little bit lighter than the rest of the face. So I'm just going to use a concealer and I'm just going to pat it in and it just adds a bit of, it's just adding a bit of brightness to this area and it's going to help us just to tidy up that outside corner. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in and just very lightly um, just apply a tiny amount of that light color just in that inner tear duct area here and we'll put some mascara on. So give the lashes a little curl and I'm going to use this one actually by Benefit which isn't my favorite mascara but there is something about it that is quite good. It's the bad gal lash which you know whatever but it's not a terrible mascara at all. It's not my favorite but I do quite like it. It builds up quite quickly. And with this kind of look, it's not a bad idea to go a bit thick and kind of clumpy with it. And I like to work the lash with the same amount of product that's on there, so I'm not re-dipping it. I'm just gonna kind of keep going over until I've eked out as much as I can from it. Now you don't have to, but I always think with this kind of look, it's always good to um, just darken the, the lash line area, you know, the waterline. I just, I love it. I just love it. So going right in, to that waterline into the inner corner. Just gives it this kind of really nice effect. And I then like to kind of just take it just slightly out as well, just to give it a kind of more lived in feel. And we'll finish the lashes and then we'll apply that to the upper waterline as well. Oh. There you have it. So that's how you draw, or how I would draw out an eye on somebody. Because you can literally, you're just following the lash line, you're following the eye shape that person has, and then you're adding to it. But again, it is always kind of best to err on the side of caution if you have a very round eye. Now, what can happen with this look, or any look in general, when you're trying to sketch your own eye shape, 
is that you have your standard eye shape. So mine would be a relatively standard eye shape, although it's becoming a bit more hooded as I get older. If you have a very deep set eye, so what that means is, is that the eye socket looks like it's going back into the head. It's a very deep set eye. They're, you can spot them a mile away. What can happen is, if you go too deep into the crease, because the crease is set way back into the head. So if you put a very dark color in there, what happens is it can look like this cavernous cave that's going on. Um, and that may or may not be a look that you're going for. So when you're thinking about doing a smoky eye, you want to keep most of the deepness onto the lid, because remember the lid goes way back into the um, eye socket. And when it comes to the crease, a lot of people with deep set eyes go into the crease and put it inside. That's just going to make it look even deeper. You want to actually place it more on the bone itself. So use that a medium color onto the bone of the eye itself. Or with really deep set eyes, you can just focus on the eye itself. So you could do a light color because you've got a lot of space. You've got a lot of eye that's visible. So you could concentrate and use a light color on the inner corner, darker color on the outside corner, blend it in. You don't have to work on the crease at all. But there you go. That's the effect. We've used purple, which I'm really pleased with because I think purple is such a fun color to use. Um, and yeah, there you go. Absolutely splendid. Bloody, bloody splendid. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.